Sports Trust acts as an implementation partner to its trustees, stakeholders and corporate donors. It distributes sporting equipment, kits and installs sports facilities in rural or historically disadvantaged communities in South Africa across all sporting codes for both abled and disabled sports. and 30 of the NetBank Sports Trust development cyclists competed in the Sports Trust Community Cycle Race at Sildana Bay. The fun cycling race was open to age groups under 10 to 18 and was managed by West Coast Flyers and the Western Province Cycling Association. The NetBank uh, Community Cycle Races are aimed at taking cycling into the community and that's what we believe we've done and we've achieved today um, up here in uh, Saldana. We have approximately 90 kids riding on a, on a crit format series here and uh, they're very competitive, riding is very fierce and um, yeah, we're certainly seeing a lot of talent coming out of the, the, the cyclists and it's exciting for the future of cycling in the Western Cape. So this cycling crit that we're doing up here in uh, Saldana at the moment, the uh, Community Cycle Series, this is the first one of 2016. We will be doing four more during the course of the year. Those will take place in the metropolitan region of the Western Cape, as well as one in the uh, Boerland region out at the Duans Way. So we're really taking cycling into the community and, and, and showcasing the talent and hopefully unearthing some more talent uh, from the community, from the schools that we work with in the program uh, on an ongoing basis. This program has been implemented in the Western Cape for the past 10 years, introducing both male and female learners to the sport of cycling and nurturing their talent from a young age. We've got very many challenges here in, in Saldana, you know, social ills in our community, and this program works so well to keep our kids occupied during the afternoons and also over weekends. Uh, that obviously does well for the, for the saying that a child in sport is a child out of court. I've got a teacher here who is so committed and so dedicated to this course. Uh, you know, without him, this program would probably not be the success that it is at this point in time. He's, he's made the sacrifices and I'm pretty sure that he will reap the benefits in due course. It took quite, quite a lot of time, um, especially for, from the learners. Um, and, 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 and me as a coach, um, I actually new in this business. Um, I'm now uh, three years in cycling. Uh, we started three years ago. So this is our third year. And um, yeah, it, it, it took quite some, some time to, for us to deliver actually because it's quite difficult because uh, a lot of our youngsters doesn't know uh, um, um, the cycling business. So I'm, uh, the, the fact that I'm quite new but I'm, but I'm used to training and most of our training uh, now this last uh, um, two months we're actually training at the school while we was uh, uh, spinning in, in the gym, our, our school here got a gym. Um, I'm making use of the spinning bikes. I've been cycling for net bank for three years. I train shy every time when I'm coming from school. It, it, it keeps my, my body my body healthy and keeps keeps keep, keeps out me from from drugs, doing bad things. You know the difficulty with with us in our school and the challenges here and the challenges here uh, is uh, that most of the cyclers they come and go and it's quite quite a challenge to keep them in the cycling program. Uh, but I believe that this year I've got the the, the uh, a group of of youngsters together that that, that shows their commitment. Um, I took them a couple of times on the road. And you can uh, see there's a big difference uh, because of our training. Uh, the, the way we train, train this year is, is a little bit different than, than other years. Once we have identified those that have talent, we do then need to work with the structures, the club structure that is in place to give us additional support and the youngsters more training, more intense and more technical and ex expertise is needed in that respect to take them up to the next level and also to give them more exposure to those that are out there that could, uh, will identify them and hopefully 
you know, uh, then support them. With, with regard to racing, the racing side, we have uh, a number of, of youngsters from mainly from Oval North uh, in Mitchell's Plain who were taken under the wing of Giant Club and they have been cycling at the Western Province champs and things like that. So we have had two podiums uh, over the last two years in the various age categories from two of our riders going forward. Uh, we're hoping to have far more and I think we see today that with four of our youngsters on the podium in these and these different categories, it's a great start for us. Uh, in 2016, we're looking to 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 enter. The, there's three of our athletes in the Arg Argus, or so they are going to participate in the Argus, and then we we looking uh, to to maybe have a sub uh, for four hours. And there's uh, there's there's a big possibility that one of our youngsters, Trevino Peterson, that he might might. Uh, cycle around three hours depends on on the weather conditions and, and, and his form and, and, and his uh, attitude in that specific day the race started at the end of diaz road in saldana bay and saw some of the top development cyclists who will also be taking part in the upcoming annual cape town cycle tour participating to have this event in saldana bay uh, was great you know, to see the community out there along the road uh, supporting these kids, it makes them also feel feel good about themselves. The day's been really exciting. I saw kids out here early this morning. I arrived here shortly after 6.30 and the kids were out here with their bikes. The community have been out here with their bras, uh, selling cold drinks, taking part. We've, we've empowered the community to act as marshals. For cycling as such, um, if you look at all the people involved today, you can see a lot of them are from the community here. Yeah? and uh, hosting an event in a community like this will also draw the popularity from the community. It will get the buy-in from the community and hopefully at the end of the day we'll be able to, uh, people that might not have been interested in cycling before, come in from the communities and say, I want to join, I want to be part of this, uh, this sporting event. It has really been great uh, for our kids. Uh, you know, it, it teaches them some discipline and I do believe that it will ultimately lead to greater success in the academics as well. It's been a fun event out here in Saldana. Certainly enjoyed it and um, put Saldana cycling on the map as well. Through the development cycling program, NetBank has continued to invest in sports development in an effort to create a nurturing knowledge-based economy and society. NetBank, together with its partnership with Sports Trust, has supported sport development uh, in South Africa through cycling, running, soccer and other uh, sporting initiatives and Netbank has donated an amount of more than 26 million rand uh, to support these initiatives. Three initiatives like cycling development, uh, Netbank um, donates uh, bicycles and kit uh, for the cyclists to the development themselves, it keeps them off the street, keeps them healthy and fit, and uh, promoting a healthy lifestyle. Nedbank obviously is, one, is the main sponsor uh, of the Sports Trust, and a few years ago, a DCAS came on board as a major partner, and I think with anybody that deals with any young, youngsters or any sporting activity, understand that the transport side of things is a huge cost involved and that's often where a lot of these programs fall down and DCAS have come on board and as a partner in the form of transport and uh, you know the backup when it comes to catering accommodation which has made it possible without that uh, far less money could be spent on the actual training of the youngsters and their hardware and spares that they need uh, on, on an ongoing basis. So whether it be soccer development, we, ha we give um, kid, uh, kids to uh, disadvantaged schools so that they can play the sport that they love. Um, we also do multi-purpose sport court handovers. We've just given one over to Ivory Park School in Midrand where the ch five schools are serviced where they, the children can come and play. Uh, various sporting codes on the court. Um, we do golf de development and just building our sports stars, our future sports stars in South Africa. 
I came on board in 2008 through the organization that was working on the program. Uh, I think to date there's well over a thousand bikes that we've actually given out. The program has progressed and changed over the years, where before it was very much a very mass participation, as many bikes out there as possible every year. We have sort of held that down to make it more sustainable now so that we're putting more time and effort into each school and rider that is on the program which is making it uh, more long term for the schools and for the riders to give them a far better base going forward. Over the years as I say now we keep we're keeping the schools in we are identifying various other uh, events that they can go and ride. You know the Argus is a very big event with 35,000 youngsters uh, for people so the youngsters need to have the, the skills and the training to be able to ride in that sort of environment. So there are other events, uh, races and what we term fun rides down in the Western Cape that are put on and we encourage our youngsters and we take them out there, we, we select certain events and we take them out there and giving them exposure to riding in big groups. And in the background, um, I have to say a thank, huge thank you to our educators who take the time out to actually ride during the week with the youngsters and on the weekend they give enormous amount of support and time to the program and the youngsters in that respect. The Sports Trust together with Ned Bank and the Western Cape Department of Cultural Affairs and Sport continues to support and provide opportunities for developing cyclists. The Sports Trust acts as an implementation partner to its trustees, stakeholders and corporate donors. It distributes sporting equipment, kits and installs sports facilities in rural or historically disadvantaged communities in South Africa across all sporting codes for both abled and disabled sports.